Hello students welcome to Eternal Easy Education in this session you are going to learn chapter 10 computer networks content of this video is part 4 mobile networks social application mobile networks is the network connecting devices without cable that is it's a wireless so devices like laptop tablet mobile phone and the pager are the devices which are connected without cable a mobile device convert the text voice multimedia message and data calls into radio frequency the mobile phone base stations transmit and receive these radio frequency signals and connects callers to other phones and other networks that means first the content in the phone is converted into radio frequency signals by the mobile phone itself then the signals are given to the base station from the base stations it is transmitted and received through are of signals and connect callers to other phones private cellular networks private cellular networks can be used at various locations like research large organizations and small industries that means instead of the base station they can have their own private cellular networks after the reach of mobile and access to the internet work progress faster so after the uh, after that means from one mobile to the next mobile to the target mobile the contents are reached then the work will go or progress faster because of the internet people can be in touch with others even while traveling yes sir as we know because of the introduction of mobile smartphone only we are easily communicating to anyone at any time people can be in touch with others even while traveling as we know important information can be received any time without much problems searching important topics checking mail watching progress of companies can be done easily sitting at one place adequate computer knowledge is sufficient to access internet via mobile network they are saying that there is a record amount of computer knowledge but i know people are well trained for this they are easily using the mobile networks the comp- the people with business oriented checking their mails watching the progress of the companies easily at any place without a system because of the mobile networks how a mobile networking has done see the person calling he is changing to radio signal waves and it is given to the central exchange tower then it is passed to a base station within that cell that means within the area where the receiving person is located then it is given to the receiving person it can also be given to a landline number that means if you are dialing to a landline number the connection is given to the landline number so the cell is formed and within three cells a base station will be there after that it is giving to the exchange central exchange that is said to be switching place where the signals are received and passed to other place at land areas networks was distributed as cells so it is having cells each will be served by single local transceiver but generally three cell sites or a base station so base station is important This base station provides the cell with network coverage and other features that can be utilized for transmission of voice, data and other content as well. 
joining together all radio coverage is called as wide geographical area so this is the way how the um, call is communicated to the other person or how the mobiles are communicated each one okay this portable transceivers used to communicate with one another with the fixed transceivers and moving via more than one cell during transmission what is the meaning is the portable transceivers that means the device which are in moving used to communicate with one another yes we can communicate from one mobile to another mobile with the fa- fixed transceivers and moving via more than one cell during the transmission that means if they are if we are moving means we are moving from one coverage area to another coverage area even though we are moving we are easily able to communicate with the other person for example how we are communicating in moving means using mobile tablets pages laptops so these are the modern equipments which are used for communication while in moving because of the internet so this mobile networking and the internet provides a way to communicate with one another easily at any time anywhere features of mobile networks first one is less consumption of power is used by mobile device compared to a single transmitter or satellite since the cell towers are closer huge capacity than a large transmitter at single frequency can be used for different or many links as long as they are different in cells that means first one less consumption of power next one it is able to transmit a large amount of data even one cell to another cell as our mobile is moving but we are easily transferring the photos videos from one location to another location as mobile phones are now heavily used for data communication the mobile network traffic is fully busy yes we will receive this signal busy network busy many times so these are the um, features of mobile networks now we'll see what are social applications that means the social media which are applied in our day to day life These social networks share several attributes in common that means each social media whether it is a Facebook or Instagram or WhatsApp we need some of the basic attributes what are they membership free registration and some charges for their service sometimes Facebook is free registration am i right content con- contribution members can easily share comments movies music short films or photos with others then frequent return visits group of members who check in regularly to contribute their share and also for few updates that means in a community page or in a group or in a group message there will be group of people who are regularly updating and giving informations and sharing their informations and human relationship building all interaction among people which create stronger connection with people of different communities yes facebook or instagram anything which is a social media is giving a strong interaction among people and building their connection more stronger am i right so these are the common attributes of a social network membership content contribution frequent return visit human relationship building then what is the benefits of social network group information sharing over long distance yes it's a very important thing because we are in a long distance that means if a, if we want to communicate from a person in other continent it's very easy within a fraction within a minute we can easily communicate although friends and family members can keep in contact via mobile phone calls or by text messages social nets provide a much richer environment for staying connected we can also share photo albums videos and convey daily wishes through the social network 
another benefit is broadcast announcements quick easy way to spread information of emergencies and natural calamities venues and local shops can advertise upcoming events on social networks business people can market their products through easy through these networks easily okay so spreading a information is quick and easy through broadcast announcements of social networks and fostering diversity of thought what is that some criticisms of social network say that online communities attract people by similar interest and background yes it's true indeed when the people with the different opinions to get together on online many discussion seems to degenerate into personal attacks and so called flame wars yes it also happening we may hear daily a uh, news about this twitter and in instagram and in facebook they are communicating and they are sometimes fighting verbally because of their different opinion of thought this is said to be flame wars arguments goes online healthy debate takes place and some of them become viral also yes nowadays this is the trending so now we have seen this 10.3.3 mobile networks and their features and their working principle a little because this network mobile network is going to be discussed again in detail in the next chapter so i have explained only the thing what is given in this page okay because we are going to see in elaborate in the next chapter don't worry we will see that next we have learned the social applications and their benefits benefits of social networks so that's all for this session learn this well thank you have a good day